Hey, I'm Alexei, and today we're gonna be making this. Well, actually we already made it in a previous lesson, but today we're gonna be lighting and adding materials and lights in Octane Render. Check out my YouTube channel for the making of. Also, I recommend you watch this tutorial all the way through, it's only like seven minutes. And then after you're done with that, try it yourself, because I go pretty fast in this one. Okay, let's get started. So, firstly I wanna adjust the spline a bit, because so it's getting more. There we go. Get more of a. See how useful the spline deformer is. You can adjust it yourself. And we'll lose along. There you go. That's better. Now, so let's add a quick eye because we don't have an eye on this. So just make a sphere, make it editable, and scale it down. So squashed. Move it up here. Move it in the front. Scale it down. Let's make a copy of it by squishing the scale tool and control dragging. So we'll make a smaller one and move it out. Move it down a bit. And then grab these two spheres here, LG, and Alt click on the subdivision surface so we get them. Right. And now we can scale, go down. There you go. Now let's make some. Octane materials. I make octane materials by opening my live viewer window Then go materials and glossy. So let's make the first one which will be pink Like so I usually go into roughness and I just drag at my float value up a little bit Just so it's not perfectly um, Glossy And then I will drag this onto my Cylinder shape, there you go. So we got our pink there. Then we want a glowing material on these guys. So we'll go material and we'll just make it diffuse because diffuse is the one that has our emission tab in here. We're gonna click black body emission and we're gonna drag this onto our toruses, I guess. No, onto these toruses. Yes. And now is a good idea to do a quick render. We can see it's glowing. Okay, so a couple of issues. First, we want to switch this to. Well, actually, first we want to go to objects, uh, and we want to add a sky, just texture environment, and here RGB spectrum. We're going to drag this all the way down so that it's dark. Now we can see what's happening here. Now I would also switch this from DL to PT, so then you get this more realistic illumination. Now let's go back and double click on our material here. Uh, go into emission and black body and we're going to change the temperature way down. So we're going to make it nice and warm even more. Nope, too warm. Think about there. Um, now we're going to go to materials and we're going to copy this guy a couple of times because we want double click on this. Oops. Let's just drag this guy down here. So we have our materials and our attributes and everything. So this guy is going to be white. Going to be our eye material. Drag this onto our outer eye. And this guy is going to be black. And drag this onto our inner eye. Let's control drag this pink one again and make this guy blue, which we will apply to our back toruses. And make it a bit more intense blue. There you go. So uh, the lights here obtain diffuse. Um, there's a couple of settings that you want to do. First, like, as you can see, it's very yellow. Um, so we can either increase the intensity of this to see what happens. Like, nope, that doesn't do anything. 200. Doing the right one. There you go. So it does affect it. <clears throat> That's a bit too much. So let's keep it like 500 maybe. And in the settings here, we'll have this little thing pop up. And I want to go into camera imager, no post, and enable this because I want some bloom going on. <clears throat> so let's increase the bloom power a bit. You can also limit that off to where it's actually affecting it. Add a bit of glare. That's looking pretty solid. You might also want to do highlight compensation. Not really doing anything here yet because we haven't had another light. I also have a cold light up the top to give it a bit more dimension I guess so object lights and octane area light 
and I will move this guy all the way up here and rotate it so it's pointing down. There you go, and then drag him out nice and long. Then I'll zoom in on here so I don't see the light anymore. And here I will get this light and I will probably turn off surface brightness and then just switch this to like maybe 400. So increase that and maybe change the temperature to a bit cooler. So a contrast of a nice cold light from the top and a nice warm light from these guys. And let's go to our material and let's bring this guy towards the red a bit. Saturate him a bit more. Looking pretty solid. Uh, next step is in the settings, don't forget to turn off your turn on your denoiser. So denoiser, turn it on. And your maximum samples, I don't know, I just said 300 for this. I think it's more than enough. And then here you press denoise. And you have your nice denoise thing. Now what I don't like, so there's a bit of this contrast here. I think maybe these guys are too bright. Let's change their emission a bit down. See what happens if we change that 300. It's a bit nicer. And now you don't get the glares. Make it back to 400. I think this is something you got to fix in post. Blow them out. Where is our camera imager? Yeah, there you go. If you drag up highlight compensation, it gets rid of that anti aliasing bit. And here you have it. Render. Perfect, right? It's under seven minutes. Enjoy. Hey guys, if you like this, don't forget to check out my website. I've got a bunch more tutorials there and some free character rigs and some paid character rigs that you can use to support my tutorial making. So yeah, I'll see you next time.